Hey guys, welcome back to Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and um, I am here for cancers. My cancers out there. It's been heavy for me to do a reading for you guys, so I am about to jump right into this situation right here. I prayed off camera. These messages might not resonate with everybody. You might want to check your sun sign, moon sign, or your Venus to check your placements to see where this resonates for you guys. And we're going to jump right in. I'm going to start with Radiant Tarot, then I'm going to clarify with the um, Elemental Tarot, then I'm going to give you guys some, oh, whoa, then I'm going to give you guys some angel messages. What we got going on here? <laughs> That is out for sure. Okay. Oh, wow. What's going on? Cancer. I'm just going to read. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, Cancer. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. In your first placement, which comes from the recent past, is the Devil card. The Devil in the recent past card showed me that you're coming from a place where you have feel bounded or coming from a place as you feel like somebody has bounded you to a situation that you feel that you should not be in. When the devil shows up in the first placement on my table, it lets me know that situations that you thought coming from a place of past was in the right sense of you, but somebody else had... <laughs> the strings to what you thought you had control over. So it's coming from a place of feeling like somebody is playing the puppet, using you in a certain situation. And that's for only some people out there. That also can talk about coming from a place of lack within a mental situation, within the mind, not having what it takes to move forward because you feel stagnant because it's coming from a place of a recent past a re, um, past thought a past situation for some out there this is also talk about um of course living in a situation where you feel like you are being used or not appreciated in a way and that moves into people viewing the three of pentacles that is a card of usually saying that you are being um viewed your accolades are being seen the progress that you have put into the situation in the world is being viewed for others to see in this way but when that leads after the devil card that shows that you feel like people are not seeing your views the way that they should perceive them or people are laughing talking about a situation that is not being used or not being viewed as i should say the three of pinnacles do talk about the greatness of having after coming of making a decision that you made the right decision and people see your work and what you have done. But leading after the devil, as I say, you don't feel appreciated in this situation. And you feel like people, what is the word I'm looking for? People put their input into this situation where you feel they shouldn't have been. 
So you're coming from a place of feeling lack and that people do not understand the way that you feel going forward. I'm so mad that this um, reading has to come out like this, but it's like, it's crazy. But we got to keep it true um, here. And <laughs> so you're coming from a point where a lack situation and things that you feel that people do not see your value or see what you have done thus far in this situation. Wow. Which leads to the five of pentacles, which speaks of someone or some situation being left out or someone being left out in the cold. Well, this is a story. So coming off a of feeling as if someone does not see your value in a situation, you feel that this left you no choice but to take what you have and leave. Because coming from a place of someone not understanding logic, <laughs> In your situations, there is no, I understand in the way that you're feeling. You're, you're being viewed as you messed up or you took the wrong situation. And this is coming from people. See the two standing there being used by the devil, which is a lack, a situation that you feel that people are not seeing that you did all you can. You're doing your best in the situation. You're led by your intuition in this. So it shows that I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. But these people do not understand your logic and where you're coming from. Come on, Cancer. So that left you feeling left out in the cold. Even though you may know where you're going. You may feel as if everything is all right in your situation, but you feel like you got to stand on your own like a man has to. Or a woman. And you see the value in where you're going, but it is very unclear to others, which I always say others really don't matter. <clears throat> but let's stick to the story. And within this comes a situation where thoughts are being used or stolen. Things are being taken away that you really can't get back. When I see the Seven of Swords, I see somebody stealing the majority and leaving less. So somebody is feeling like they need to pick up and bounce and leave what's there while it's going to hell. Or something is being taken from some cancer that they can't see because it's in the thought process of others. I'm only bringing up people because there's a lot of people in these cards. It's usually one or two. It's a lot of people here. So that's letting me know that People are dictating how this situation is going and is running the mind of the cancer where they feel left out in the cold. They feel unappreciated and they feel as if everything is against them today. Wow. And these things are led by passion. So whoever feels as if something is being took from them they need not to look at the materialistic of things, but the swords, the feelings, the way people treat them, the way people perceive the things that they're going as. It all boils down to somebody is not feeling how a cancer is moving or how their situation is evolving for their life. So they feel like they should dictate it. I hear parents.
attention to the woman. But the cancer know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. So they're being present for the moment. But the white shoulders tell me that there's something that they're not telling them that's intuitively known. So they're feeling that the only thing intuitively told is that they need to either take up and change their mind, take up and take what they have and leave. Because I don't see this seven of swords as other people influence. I think this cancer needs to go off and do what they need to do for them. So they're taking their thoughts and saying, excuse my language, F these people and I'm out. I'm going to leave this situation exactly like it is. This is the only way I can do. Hmm. Which leads to the two of swords, which is making a decision with them same thoughts. Coming to a place where you feel like you have no choice. It's either or in this situation. I got to change this situation. I got to stop thinking these certain thoughts. The feet has yellow, so that lets me know that they feel very strongly, and it's going to move their feet exactly this way. This cancer is not playing. Yellow on the pocket, which means saying the decision is maybe drive by money, monetary. These people may be talking because the cancer doesn't have exactly what is expected of certain people that view them in their situations that they feel, that they feel, them, the ones that's being used, um, puppets, as I usually call them, by the devil. Because they're coming from a low vibration. They're coming from a place of judgmental situations and not seeing clearly of what this cancer wants. And that comes to this decision that, of course, again, you are going to fight with. That comes to the seven of, um, of wands. Wow. So that decision, you wanting to get up to leave for the certain cancers out there, wanting to get up to leave making a final decision, feeling like this is the only way that you can make it through, make it clear on your own convictions, will still be caught up by either your own thoughts or the thoughts of others. Seven of Wands. Before I get into that, on the end of the deck is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords talking about leaving troubled waters to more calmer waters, meaning leaving a bad situation. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Leaving a bad situation to go towards more stability more calmer thoughts. Notice the swords are in front of him, not in the back. The nurture of these two, there is a child here, and there is what can be perceived as a woman, I feel is. So this cancer is leaving this situation, making swords of the two, making the decision to leave because they think this is the best situation for them to do at this point. To either nurture or help a woman or a child. Or either 
to have discernment in the way that they feel. Because right now, it's troubled. It comes from troubled situations. It comes from other people's input in their personal situation. The five shows a lack of stability, maybe a lack of funds it speaks of. The seven of swords talking about somebody getting away with thoughts to me. It can mean certain things and um, somebody stealing from you or things like that. But in this situation, walking out in the cold, feeling left out. Yes. All in all, this leaving to come back is all for the betterment of the person that has the stick in the troubled waters. They only see best if they do that. Now, this leaving could mean leaving a thought process. Coming from a situation of feeling lack. So that leaves you in a process of wanting to go forward. You feel like you already been out. Let me clarify. Elemental Tarot. Let's see what's going on. Th these cancers? The sun. Yes. In this whole situation, the sun is the reason of the leaving this situation. The situation... Um. Seems a little toxic from beginning to end. Seems like this cancer is not sleeping because they feel like there is heavy burdens in this situation where there's at. There's water there, but the land is unclear. Hmm. Let me get one more. Why is this cancer feeling this way? What is this situation? Ooh, too many cards. Yes, I see lavender. So it's need for a change, need for a better in this situation. Wow, the world. <laughs> okay. The sun in the world. So basically, <laughs> this cancer needs to find nourishment somewhere out here because this is dead deprived. This cancer feel deprived. They feel like their needs are never met. And they're willing to walk away and leave. To leave certain thought processes and things that you're going along takes a lot of will. It takes a lot of nurturing. But sunflower shows the spread of love of how nurturing a sunflower is. Sunflower can give you water and see where there is desert seen. There's always nourishment where they're going. So they feel like this situation that they're coming from, there is, they they have to go forward. There, there is no stuck here, be here, end all of this. This is kind of heavy. And these thoughts that they're changing, that they're taking away from their self, I, I feel this is self-inflicted because these people the talking, the, yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. It, it, it was either a here or there situation for this cancer. They're, they're not feeling it. Let's see what you're going to do about it, though, because we leave here with answers. <laughs> we solve problems. Right, cancer? Let's get it in. Crystal clear intentions. Arch Archangel Michael. 
Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So yes, they definitely want to leave. They want to get out of this S situation and they're, <laughs> yes, clear, crystal intentions. So this is very clear that this situation that they in was very toxic. They definitely don't want nothing to do with it. It's not a situation that they can see clarity in. It's in all. I'm out. It's like I'm not telling nobody neither. Very clear on the other side of that. Let me get another one for you guys. In Moon Cycles, Archangel Peniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and your manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Absolutely. And um, I think the next moon change is, will be the new moon in Virgo. That is I. <laughs> so um, you want to look out for um, certain situations um, that have to do with the changing of your mind and the way that you think about things that you perceive coming from your recent past. They should eventually change dramatically, being that you know where you want to go you have a clear vision of where for some of you guys where you want to go and how you want to get there there is a new path and new things for you when you get a more clearer view when you can finally see where you're going that decision might give a little pushback from other people out there that don't really understand where you're going and sometimes that's always the situation but you got a clear view of what your nourishment and your situations and what your dictation of your life looks like i like that i like that just remember cancer um troubles never last always it's just a split second that decision that you make that decision that you make going to open up a whole new world of situations for you. Whether people decide to like those situations or not, whether the conflict opposes you, your intuition will always show you your value and what you need. And standing in that conviction also will give you that nourishment, that lean. If leaving is what you need to do to get a certain peace a certain crystal clear intention then that's what you need to do this was very wonderful i'm so glad to read for you guys today um i'm dre eden you can hit me anywhere in instinctual tarot on all platforms of course facebook twitter all that good stuff um hit my uh, YouTube up for um, certain daily updates and things. I will have a lot up there. I'm also on Instagram for you guys that I'm going to start putting more um, relevant content up there daily. And until next time, love and blessings to you guys.